as many Nigerians have faith in government's effort to revamp the power industry and provide efficient energy for all Nigerians. There is a visible reflection in the dogged determination of government to light up Nigeria, which therefore calls for concerted efforts by all and sundry to achieve this feat. The wheel of power is turning with a hope of attaining a level of enough megawatts of electricity for homes and investors across the country. I'm really glad that you made time to join us in turning the wheel of power to achieve sufficient electricity through our program, Power Wheel, reaching you on this channel. I am Omelogo Nadi. Come with me as I take you through the power sector and efforts to transmit electricity at all times. The program will also showcase policies of government, their actions and implementers, bring to the fore the yearning of the generality of people who enjoy the facilities in various communities and of course, your feedback, so as to keep the line of communication not just open but engaged with you the viewer and the government. Once again, you're welcome to the Power Wheel. The power sector has been really agog with activities, especially as it concerns the transmission of power in the country. The Power News segment will let us in on trending events. Our first report here says the management of Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, has commenced the process of designing and standardizing all new substations across the country. This will engage the attention of a consultant to pilot the program. The essence of engaging the consultant is to bring out the best in TCN's engineers through peer review mechanism. In view of the cost and time spent by TCN on various consultants in designing substations for each project, the Interim Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the TCN, Usman Gol Mohammed, says the design and standardization of company substations equipment is necessary. Mr. Mohammed was speaking at a meeting with the consultants and stakeholders from the Federal Ministry of Power, Works and Housing, Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, Niger Delta Power Holding Company, and engineers in TCN held in Abuja. We can design this substation, but if we want to go for a modern way of doing things, we should get a uh, uh, consultant. You also said they don't have the software for doing this design. Yes. That was what he told me. So let's get a consultant to, to come and help you train you, do the design, and then give you the capacity to be able to be reviewed going forward. The greatest risk of this consultancy, and which I also warned the, uh, the consultant, the first thing I told him when I met him is to tell him that I want you to be very professional. I know that there are some people whom you know, but what we want from you, we want for you to work for our interests. And our interest is that give us the best education that will give us value for our money when we are buying our equipment. That is it. The intention is for them to work with our design department so that they can produce this design, so that this design is our design. It's not design of the consultant. You will appreciate our effort and we want you to, you know, get uh, capacity to design this operation yourself. So that you can continue. Even if you have not made up the capacity to design, at least you can review the uh, drawings and design given by the contractor. So you can validate the design. That is also required. Because a lot of issues you can see that it is relating to execution of standards. The standards have been there. Your, even your prevailing standards are uh, I mean, very good. So I have studied the uh, presentation. There are certain instruments required which we will attest to it. But mostly the things are that you need to understand the existing standard and drawing and whatever we, we are designing now. It was agreed that standardization of substations will reduce cost of project's execution, improve effectiveness, encourage reliability, security and stability.
Nigeria's power production has reached an all-time high of 7,000 megawatts, indicating that policies of government are working. Minister of Power, Works and Housing Babatunde Fashala said this at the 22nd Power Sector Stakeholders Meeting held in Geregu Power Station, Kogi State. Some of the policies that government initiated was the 701 billion payment assurance guarantee which brought some comfort to the production side of power supply. Generator companies now felt safer that they could invest and they could get some money back which will enable them pay their gas suppliers, which will enable also the bad gas suppliers pay their banks. What we now have as a country is that our power production has reached an all-time high of over 7,000 megawatts. This was not where we were in January. So it means that our policies are working. It means that our programs are working. And we are also now able to evacuate substantially all of that power by transmission. So TCN has also done its part, moving as much of the power and improving and completing uh, its projects. And um, the intervention of the state government here in, with respect to the Kaba station means that, uh, again, we will see some progress there. The distribution companies have not been left behind. They have also invested in their distribution assets. Uh, they are challenged, of course, by resources, and they have to play catch up now. And this family, this team, will do everything it can to help them reach the catch up capacity. But as I said, we now have. 7,000 megawatt of power available, we are only able to put a part of that onto the grid. We reached an all-time grid peak supply of 5,155 megawatt. Nigeria has never produced that much power onto the grid. The last peak supply was 5,074 in January of 2016. Mr. Fashola noted that the meeting was an opportunity to reflect on the nation's journey towards incremental stable power. He lauded stakeholders for their intervention in initiating control to tackle challenges of insufficient power in the early part of the year. Kogi State Governor Yahya Bello urged investors in the distribution of power to help communities in Kogi State and environs with power. I don't have much to say other than to sincerely express my appreciation to the Honorable Minister and of course our leader and the President and his able lieutenant, the Vice President, for the wonderful job they've done in the power sector. Before the narrative is there's no enough power, but today we know that there's relatively improvement in the power generation and transmission. All that it requires is for us to put ourselves together, those of us that need this power, and then make a request. And also I want to urge and encourage those that to invest in the distribution of these powers to please come up and enough investment should be driven in that sector. The meeting was the last for the year 2017. The federal government has reaffirmed its commitments to export electricity to members of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, through appropriate Power Purchase Agreement, PPA. Permanent Secretary Power of Federal Ministry of Power, Works and Housing, Mr. Louis Edozian, stated government's position at the end of a meeting on the kickoff of the line route, environmental and social impact assessment for the second 330 kV transmission line between Ikeja West in Nigeria and Sakate in Benin Republic. Mohamed Sanasi has that report. In a communique issued at the end of the meeting, Mr. Edu Zien urged the Beninese Electricity Company to settle its accumulated electricity debt to Nigeria, stressing that the Nigeria electricity industry has moved from government monopoly to private participation. 
He noted that government's position is based on the improvement in the total generation and transmission capacity of the Nigerian system, which is presently more than the absorption capacity of the distribution companies. The community also states that the compensation and settlement process must be completed before construction starts and that the relevant national regulations in Nigeria and Bene shall govern the permitting process for the project. Participants at the meeting lauded the interim managing director and chief executive officer of TCN and chairman of WAB, Mr. Usman Gaur Mohammed, for the meeting and the overall hospitality at the occasion. The meeting was organized by the West African Power Pool, WAP, in conjunction with the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, in Abuja. An important part of the commitment of this current administration led by President Mohamedou Buhari to developing the electricity market in Nigeria and in the ECOWAS countries. It's a very firm commitment that has been demonstrated in many ways. So we look forward to 2021 uh, when this project is completed. Now, having said that, the only reason you would build a second transmission line is to deliver electricity. If there is no intention to deliver electricity, then there's no reason for the line. Uh, so the commitment is actually to deliver um, electricity from Nigeria to the ECOWAS subregion or conversely from the ECOWAS subregion into Nigeria to integrate the markets and I think that's the essence yes. of West African power pool. <laughs> now even though that is the intention I want to start again by saying the ministry's primary responsibility is to satisfy the electricity needs of Nigeria. Also speaking during the meeting, the chairman of WAB noted that the transmission company of Nigeria will continue to do all it can to ensure the realization of the goals of the power pool. As the biggest contributor to WAP, TCN is interested, interested in strengthening WAP to play its role as conceived by the founding fathers. It is in this respect that TCN is supporting not only the network expansion program, but also institutional reform aimed at repositioning work for its role in the region. TCN will continue to honor its responsibility and obligation in funding work to ensure its valuable objectives are achieved. Monsieur le Directeur General de Sahara Energy, Monsieur le Directeur On his part, the Director General CEB. Dr. Karimau Sika appreciated the Nigerian government and WAP for the projects and stated that it would provide an opportunity to sustain the republics of Bene and Togo power systems and ensure a more stable supply of electricity to their countries. Goodwill messages were presented by the president of ECOWAS Commission, representatives of mainstream energy and Sahara Energy. The transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, will for the first time construct a 330 kV cord transmission lines cable of transporting 2,400 megawatts of electricity through a single transmission line at the same time. The measure is part of TCN's transmission, rehabilitation and expansion strategy. The report. The Interim Managing Director of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, Mr. Usman Gur Mohammed, while hosting some representatives of the Islamic Development Bank at the TCN's corporate headquarters in Abuja, disclosed that the project lines, when fully executed, will be the first of its kind in Nigeria's electricity industry. Mr. Mohammed explained that the Quad Lines project, which is sponsored by the Islamic Development Bank, ISDB, will reconstruct the existing line between Shiroro, Kaduna, Mando, Alauji, Onicha, and Delta Benin, as well as construct Kaduna, Mando, Kumbotsu, Kano, 330 kV D and C quad transmission line. 
Representatives of the Islamic Development Bank thanked the Interim Managing Director for his efforts towards transmission expansion projects, stressing that their mission was to gather information about projects in the TCN which their organization is funding and enable them to strategize effectively. Meanwhile, at a town hall meeting held at the headquarters of the TCN, the Interim Managing Director, Transmission Company of Nigeria, Usman Gur Mohammed, urged staff to work hard in the new year as drivers of the power sector. He spoke about TCN's direction in 2018. This is what we are going to do uh, going forward. We have improved the quality of uh, power. And what we have done is simply out of three things that we are, going to, we are supposed to do to stabilize the grid, uh, four things. And the four things are the investment we need to put in key areas that, uh, in terms of lines to ensure that the grid is stable, uh, in terms of line and substation. The next investment we are supposed, the next thing we are supposed to do is to have the spinning reserve. Another one we need to do is to have a functional scatter where we can see every uh, infringement or any instability that is caused by all player, any player in the power sector. The other thing we are supposed to do is the frequency control, which are able to achieve from 49.5 and 50.5. But that has stabilized the grid and has also uh, uh, increased the quality of the power that we are, we are sending. Yes, 5,155 megawatt is a significant milestone on our journey of incremental power. But we still have a lot of work to do. Let me say very, very clearly that no one person can claim in the greater credit for the progress that we have made. This credit and progress is a product of teamwork starting from our leader himself, the president, to the vice president, to many people in government, and in your own companies too. People in the local communities like in Gerigu here who offer peace so that production can take place. Many people who members of the public will never see, but many people whose work contributes to our progress. To all of those people who work in the backstage, to my own staff in the ministry, I salute you for your service, I value your work, and I thank you for your hard work.
lines carry electric current that can cause serious injury or death. Stay at least 50 meters away from 330 kV power lines, 30 meters away from 132 kV power lines, and 15 meters away from 33 kV power lines. Stay safe. Stay away from electric power lines and transmission installations. This message is from the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. Let's turn our focus on a community and get a feel of how power is transmitted in the area. The report is presented from our studio. This is Nyaya, a border access between the FCT and Nasarawa State. The area is home to a great number of residents of Abuja and business concerns. The transmission of electricity is therefore apt as businesses thrive on this product not only to grow their enterprises but to make substantial profit and check wastage of resources born out from the use of power generating sets. While some residents in the area applaud efforts of government and its agencies to keep the lights on, some others are appealing to some unpatriotic Nigerians who thwart government's efforts in the power sector to rather support the gesture to provide power at all times. If the villages can boast of at least 18 hours, I don't see why the town should not be talking of at least 20 hours of power supply. There is improvement, mostly in the time of yeah, giving the light. Maybe you will see that the light will last for an 10 to 8 hours without taking it off. So there is improvement. I look at the environment. The environment is good and it's very bright. There's light everywhere. Like in my area too, I say in Jukwe, Dagbana, and uh, we do do it. The other side we have one day on, one day off because of the transformer, because our transformer is not too big there. From all indications, government's huge investments in the power sector is yielding positive results as the power wheel turns. It's time now to hear your comments and your views in this segment. It is feedback time. Since the beginning of this Buhari administration, there's a little improvement in the power situation, but a lot needs to be done. Because the light, you don't, in fact, we are not really enjoying the light the way we're supposed to enjoy it. I want government to help us for this power. Government needs to give us power every day because of our business. What the government should do is definitely to increase the number of transformers. So that's good because I know in the area where I live, most times we have this issue of uh, transformers breaking down. So because transformers are breaking down, that means there is a more pressure on the transformers so the government should increase the number of transformers so that the team will be able to circulate properly it's not easy even we the nigeria we are feeling it that uh, the light is good and the light is okay but it's for us to join hands together to work for the country so that the light also will reach other places that uh, there's no light you know the power supply is very 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 poor there's no improvement at all sometimes like three days we won't even have light so they should be, they should do something about it. All of these comments are noted and the policy makers will look into these with a view to getting it right for you, the consumer of electricity, and for us who are working hard to keep the lights on. Thanks for watching, but don't forget to keep a date with us for fresh episodes of the program on this channel. I am Omelogo Nadi. Let's join hands to keep the lights on.